Hey, good to be with you. And yes, for the beach, we got a little beach time in today, but we've got rip currents. We have an east northeast wind, so rip currents a little stronger than they normally are. So be extra careful, especially by the piers and the jetties. But the big story, Keith, uh, we got another name storm. OK, it's nothing to get you know, too unsettled about. All right, we can enjoy our holiday. This poses no threat to us at this time of the first coast. In fact, the pattern for the next one to two weeks would actually favor these storms staying out to sea. All right, so just check back day to day, but we've got Tropical Storm Paulette smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You can kind of make out Puerto Rico here on the far end of the Windward Islands. We've got winds of 40 miles per hour moving west northwest three miles per hour. Yeah, we've got time to watch this a pressure at 1005. So you see the convection blowing up closer to the center becoming better organized and less a uh, little bit extra spin and less wind shear. So uh, we'll see this ramp up to about 60 miles per hour over the next 24 to 48 hours. And then notice you know, kind of drifting as we head into the weekend still in the open Atlantic. As we look elsewhere in the tropics, hey, it's peak week. Can you tell? All right, we could have another named storm today, maybe two in one day. This would be tropical depression 18. But look at this. It's near Africa. OK, so here's the African coastline right now, a tropical depression. But this would be Renee by late today. All right, so notice we've got winds closer to 50 miles per hour as we wake up tomorrow morning. That would meet the criteria, but I think by even by later this afternoon we could have winds of 40 and then notice it'll do another recurve. It's curving mainly out to sea. That's the pattern, so a little bit different. We're going to talk about that pattern and a couple more areas to watch. It's like a rat pack of activity. All right, so we'll take a look at these uh, next couple of waves as well and the rest of our Labor Day forecast.